the contributed items encompasses a wide array of vital medical tools including a portable ultrasound scan the donation also includes two professional delivery beds an anti blood pressure monitor weighing scales among other critical medical equipment Ntika Richard, the president of lottery club of kampala south explained that their strong commitment to lottery core values especially in the maternal and child health motivated them to initiate this significant project in the area Ntika also shared that they have established a team called the lottery community corp within their operation areas comprising local volunteers this team identifies specific community challenges where the lottery club can make a difference it is sad that in this day and age we still have mothers dying from childbirth we have babies dying before they make the age of five it is an issue that is at at everybody's sleeve so it is very important that we tackle it because then we shall continue to see many people die yet we can do something however small Regarding the integrated follow-up technology in the ultrasound scan, Ntika clarified that the system enables them to gather data for monitoring mothers. She also added that it facilitates medical staff in conveniently tracking the progress of the mothers that assist, especially in the attaining the antenatal checkups. We have different health projects where people are followed up. For one reason or another, they may not be able to come back. But then we have a monitoring tool, the software that has been installed, which will be able to, to say that on such and such a day, this patient is supposed to come for antenatal. So they wait. If you do not come, then there will be a problem. Then it is, it, it pick, we pick it up. We, ha we hope the health center picks that up and follows up on this mother. Tracy Gomwe, Janet, the in charge of Kamugaguzi Health Center 3, revealed that the facility serves over 200 mothers seeking antenatal services each month. Tracy Gomwe underscored the significant challenge posed by the lack of ultrasound scan machine at the facility which forced mothers to travel about 22 kilometers to Kabale town for the scanning services. This inconvenience results in delays and difficulties for pregnant mothers in accessing necessary medical care. We have been seeing a challenge whereby they will become attend antenatal services, but at the time of delivery, you don't see them. Because, as I told you, if you look at the number that comes for ANC and you compare it with the facility deliveries, you can clearly tell that some mothers, after antenatal services, they don't come back here to deliver. Speaking with some of the mothers receiving antenatal services at the facility, they expressed profound gratitude for the donations from the lottery clubs, particularly the ultrasound scan machine. They recounted, they recounted previously having a travel long distances to access the services, incurring transportation costs as well. <laughs> Mwesi Jepadi, the assistant district health officer in charge of Matano and child health noted that while the district has progressed by increasing the proportion of mothers delivering at the health facilities to 80%, a portion of mothers still give birth at home. He stressed that this remaining percentage of home deliveries poses a significant risk to the lives of the children. As a district in maternal child health, we are, we are still not doing very well because now we have uh, reached at around uh, 85% deliveries. Those mothers who deliver in our hospitals and our facilities, so it is about 85%, which we need to reach at 90%, so we are still below the percentage. But in a bad note, we are still losing babies because we are still having a high number of prenatal deaths, both in the community and the hospitals, because those prenatal deaths came late, so we are still losing babies in our district. Let's begin.